if you think you found the magical free parking spot in Gatlinburg, I'm here to tell you, you didn't. Okay. That one's yours. We won't touch that one. I'm going to show you this red car, but I'm going to put this uh, thing over the tag first. Right here. Go left. Okay. We are at Country Inn and Suites. New Year's Eve Eve. Gatlinburg is overrun with people because it is a Saturday. There's a ding right there. Boom. These folks, okay, so see, we've got this. That's coming. That's not entirely. Right there. These people are from the next county over. And supposed to be in this spot. This is a hotel parking lot. And I mean, just look. Just look at all these cars. It is just crazy. Hotel says they have about 10 that they want us to take. So, we will get as many as we can. Distracted, didn't finish my walk around. It is all wheel drive going up on dollies. It's locked. And yes, I always check. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna watch from this side. This is a tight parking lot and Mama is nervous. He says, please can I have that spot? I said, are you staying at this hotel? He said, yes. I said, it's all yours. Have at it. This is going to be fun down here, and not the good kind of fun. So you can see there's a pole there. And this car right here parked in the towway zone, blocking this. It's like a an obstacle course. Tow truck obstacle course. He won. Excellent. No. Magnificent. I don't think we're getting out of here. Yeah, that's going to be the next challenge, isn't it? Absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, I was showing YouTube all the uh, all the cars I'm wearing. I wonder how many have not paid. A whole bunch. Oh. <clears throat> that must have been 
to be the one he's telling us about. They're in the road, blocking people in. Yep, they are. Boy, there's just not enough of you to go around today, is there? For one day a year, you need about 30 trucks. <laughs> just one day. <laughs> uh, this one right here. I'm gonna get a walk around. Couple of scrapes right there, but uh, not supposed to be here. Subaru, <laughs> supposed to tell me what else? Okay. Keep coming. Yeah, you're good. Come on. Come on back. Keep coming. Come on back. Perfect. Grab it. Scrapes on that front bumper. Okay, so everyone says, oh, there's, uh, it says overflow parking. So there is the sign that says overflow parking. So this is the church parking and they've gone to donations. There's a sign that says overflow parking and it points that way to that lot over there, that gravel lot over there. They're parking over here thinking that this is overflow parking. Just gonna get this one right here. Watch your front end. Over here with this car right here, front end. Hold up. Ooh, that's close. This is the one we're doing. It has some scrapes or some dirt here. I'm not sure which, but pre existing. This is going to be fun. Same thing here. What is dirt? Dent here. because it reduces our liability. I'm gonna cover this tag. And the reason being is, okay, the vehicle's locked. It's gonna to go to our lot. It's going to remain locked. And whatever is in there stays in there. All of their belongings. The front end is so close. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Let me pivot. All right. I don't think you're going to get it. Oh no, no. Don't turn. but I'm watching it. Yep, looks good. Yep, looks good. Okay. Yep. All right, try that. This arm's way out and that one's way in. Looks like this one has an electronic parking brake too, but I don't think it's set. No. Can't get it? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna shut this off. I just wanna show how close he is to this. Not touching though. He's not touching it. Excellent. 
job. While they were loading up the black Hyundai Santa Fe, the owner of the blue Subaru approached them and began yelling at Kristen. This is the footage that I have of that, where she just quickly turned on the camera and tried to get some of the conversation, but remember this guy for later. It's across the front of a hotel. What do you think? Seems pretty cut and dry to me, but if you think you found the magical free parking spot in Gatlinburg, I'm here to tell you, you didn't. These people walking up to the gate here are the owners of the bluish gray Subaru Crosstrek that we saw in the previous clip. And while unfortunately this video has no sound, I do have some of the context for you. Just out of frame to the left here are Kristen and Coven standing at the gate. Coven was the one who picked up the Subaru, so he's waiting on those people, while Kristen and Jeff are waiting on the people with the red Toyota Highlander that they picked up the previous day. Here you can see Jeff motion to Coven to move the tow truck so that the Subaru can be driven to the gate. At the same time, the owner of the Subaru walks directly past Jeff and tries to walk through the gate into the lot. Keep in mind, there is a very large sign on the gate that says employees only beyond this point. So as he begins to walk past Kristen, she asks him if she can help him with anything, to which he responds, and I quote, yeah, I'm here to get my car. He then turned around and tried to go back through the gate. Kristen then tells him to not go through there as the sign clearly states on the gate not to, to which he yells back, I'm going to the office. Kristen is very confused at this point because the people that would be in the office are standing right there. The man continues to yell at Kristen, but after watching the entire conversation, at this point, Jeff has had enough. He decides to intervene by saying, I see you're still ignoring the signs. And I really wish I knew what he was saying verbatim here, but I don't, and I'm sure you can come to your own conclusions. At this point, the couple with the red Toyota Highlander are walking up to the gate and they're hearing the entire conversation. Although it seems at this point the argument has died down and Kristen begins speaking to the Toyota Highlander couple. She also said that they were very nice in comparison to the Subaru guy. The rest of this clip is pretty uneventful. Coben goes and gets the Subaru and Kristen and Jeff speak with both the wife of the Subaru guy and the couple with the Toyota Highlander. Jeff then tells Kristen to move the tow truck and she moves the tow truck out of the way so that the Subaru can be driven through the gate. After the altercation, Subaru guy just stands at the gate like this until his car is driven through the gate. He then proceeds to give the car a little inspection. Once it seems like he's satisfied with the condition of the car, he gets in silently and drives away. After that, Kristen gets the keys for the Toyota Highlander and she goes to drive it up to the gate. 
Kristen said these people were very nice and apparently were staying at the hotel but had forgotten to hang their hotel hang tag on their rearview mirror, but they weren't mad about it. Everything auto. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Um, I have uh, my par uh, my car parking and um, uh, what is the hotel in the front? Sorry. Country in the Country in the street. So I'm from Miami. I don't have another car. I don't know. You know, I don't, I don't understand. I paid my car. The parking. What, Two car helmet. What what kind of car do you have? Um, I uh, my car is a, a Hyundai Santa Fe Black. Okay. Yes. 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 We do. Yeah. Okay. Why? The, there's no parking pass. Yeah, I have a parking pass. I put in the desk okay. my parking pass. I don't know why. Well, there was there was no hotel parking pass. If you're not staying at the hotel, then it, it cannot be at the hotel parking lot. Yeah, I know. Sorry about. It. Some people outside told me pay, parking anyway, just in case you know, pay pay your parking. But I, I I need your help. You know, I'm from Miami. I don't know anything here. I go. So what are you doing now? Okay. Yeah, I mean you have to pay to park. You can't park in the. Uh, in the in the parking lot of the hotel that that's you have to you have to pay to park um so i mean if you want to my car my car is no outside no sir yeah we removed it it's at our lot oh okay but see i pay my the the parking here in the hotel you 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 bring me my car right no you have to come to pick it up how much oh pick it up where 221 newman road Okay, wait, wait, wait. Give me one second. Okay. Tell me. Um, I need the address. You have a paper or something like that. Yeah, please, please give me one second, bro. Sir, I can I can text it to you. Is this your cell phone? Yeah. I'll text you the pickup address. Please, please. Yeah. Okay. Thank okay. you. You're welcome. Uh, how much? How much is it? It's. Oh my God! Hundred? Yes, sir. And it's it has to be cash, and it has to be the registered owner. So yeah, as long as you're the registered owner of that vehicle, ID matches that registration. I can release it to you, and it has to be in cash. Okay. Uh, well, all of a sudden we're hung up on now. Been a day. I'm from Miami. <laughs> Everything auto. Hi, um, are you in the Gutenberg area? We are, yes. Oh, thank you. I, I was, we were driving to our cabin and then we, we like, we got off the road into like a muddy, muddy space and we cannot, muddy hole and we cannot get our car out. Okay. Uh, we just need some kind, like somebody like, a, like, a, like to, to pull us out of it. I, uh, uh, right now for me, it's probably going to be about, I would say four hours, but I don't even know what time they're going to turn the town down. They're about to shut the town down for, for New Year's. So I, New Year's. I couldn't even get to you probably until early in the morning. All right. So I don't know. Um, who did you know? Um, okay. I don't even know how he got it like that. All right. Uh, I don't know. So, do you have any? And I don't. It's okay. Uh, okay. So I don't know. Uh, do you know anybody else? Um, you might try Ogles Towing. He's there in Gatlinburg as well. What? What do you know the number? I don't, ma'am. You, you should. You could Google search. He should show up easy on a Google search. O G L E S right. Ogles Towing. What is it? O G L E S Ogles Towing. All right, O-G-E-S. O-G-L-E-S. 
O G E S. Huh? Yeah. I don't know. Like, uh, you think you can help us? Somebody can help us. Big toe. I know. Thank you. What is the name of it? Ogles. I appreciate. It. No, we're good. Ogles. Yes, ma'am. O G. L E S. O G. What else? L E S. L E S. O L E S. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Have a good night. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Guys, I, I want to discuss that a little bit. Um, I don't even know where to begin. That's so, so I've broken my own rule here as far as too much information. I'm going to start by explaining that Gatlinburg is about to shut down the town for the New Year's celebration. So they no, the, all the roads are closed down. You cannot get in or out of town and it makes it a huge crazy thing. So um, it is now getting close to that hour, that nine o'clock hour and it'll party and celebrate on. So it's it would be probably four hours by the time everything, and that's generous mm -hmm. because everybody tries to leave after midnight and then it almost makes it almost impossible to do anything. But anyway, four hours was, was all it was gonna take. But here is the problem guys. Uh, so I always tell Kristen because we, I, you'd think I would learn my lesson because I always try to give this advice. We try like, to be helpful. We try to be helpful. We try to be helpful, but most of the time you just cannot be helpful. I'm always like just bare minimum information and uh, and move on because they always a customer will always ask for so much more. So you'll if you recommend a place or two places or three places, they will want you to write the phone numbers down and message them and uh, give it, it to out. them and and spell it out what's the name of this and before you know it it's it's total chaos because it's like they don't they don't listen to anything that you're saying and uh, before you know it you've spent a half an hour on the phone looking up all of this stuff for them it's like I don't, I'm like a directory I guess I, I don't and I don't get that because, don't go yet, we left a light on that. I don't get that because they found your number. Yeah, it's like she Googled and found my phone number, so, um, you know, why can't she look up towing and, and, uh, and get that stuff figured out? And I also always forget this tow light. So, this is behind the scenes, I usually don't show this part, but there is a tow light on the back of this minivan, and uh, I almost always drive away and and uh, and forget it but anyway guys uh, just keep that in mind we try our best to to be helpful with with customers and get that information out there and uh Kristen is back with the magical tow light here's the here it is the magical tow light and here's the and here's the reminder so I usually put this up on the door post to remind me that I did forget that on a customer's car I'm gonna to have to drive for another 30 minutes to go back and get my $300 light because I forgot it on a car. I, uh, my mind is not what it used to be. Probably never used to be anything at all. <laughs> anyway, uh, we have now went the entirety of the day and I've not had anything but a diet Dr. Pepper because for whatever reason, Coven decided that the grocery store didn't have regular Dr. Pepper, so dad needs some diet Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Instead of going to the next grocery store over. Not cool. Okay. Not cool, Coven. So, okay, so Miami just text and said yesterday I parked there and they didn't take my car. My wife is pregnant. <laughs> so this is an abuse. This is an abuse. Oh, let's call him. This is an abuse. You want to call him back? You can't, just it doesn't matter if you parked there and they didn't take it yesterday. You got lucky yesterday. An abuse. You want to call him? I uh, will just we'll wait for him to call us back. All right. But when he calls back, I'll bring you guys that amazing footage as well but like i said we've went all day nothing to eat it is now 8 30 p.m and i ate yesterday about 10 p.m i ate before i went to bed yesterday i don't know anyway i'm super hungry and uh might not make it the rest of the day if i don't eat so stick around stay tuned everything auto 
I'm here. I am the owner of the Santa Fe. I'm here. The police bring them. Bring them. Um, I wait for you here. Okay, I'll get a truck coming back over that way. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, YouTube. This guy was, woo, he's salty. I'm gonna have to show you the text message after we get done with the uh, episode here. Hello. Hello how you doing? Hey, I'm good. Still mad at me? It's I, crazy, but it's not you. The hotel call you. I know. Yeah, the hotel calls yeah, me. The, yeah, I know. Yeah, I. Uh, All the time walk is the same in Miami. The hotel, yeah. the people call you. Yeah, the, we, this is your job. Yeah, we just had to come, and I I, they they called me to do. A, I know you text me and said something about yeah, Miami I, I, I or know, Florida. I, I, I know, I know. I, I promise. Imagine, imagine. Yeah, I promise. I, I've towed I've towed license plates from all over the country today. I, it, I, Kansas. I know. I know. I know. I, know, I understand later, but I talk to my wife. Yeah. Me, it's not him. I know yeah. it's not you. Yeah. I, but uh, but uh, I I I need. You understand me? Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. It's the last day of the year. Yeah. But the, the hotel say, well, okay, they park, they pay parking. Okay, today is the last day. Yeah. Why call you? Well, I'll tell you why. It's today is very important for that hotel because they are completely sold out of of rooms and tickets for the event. So when their guests come in, they don't have a place to park. So if they don't have a place to park, then they can't sell that room. So today is the, is the most important day to pay to park because they, uh, yeah, they don't. And when they come outside and you don't have a hang tag, then they can't sell another room because they don't have a parking spot. So okay. it's, man, you just gotta, you gotta pay to park, man. It's, uh, okay. um, if you got keys, I'll bring it up here. I'll bring it up yeah. here for you. Um, and you've got the cash, right? I have my document inside the car. Okay. But I listen, I park in yesterday at the same place. So they don't talk my talk on my car yesterday. I don't know why today. But um, is there another person in the front the, desk? Uh, I see that in the front desk they have the phone number and the sticker. Yeah, they, they it just depends and sometimes they don't always call our company. I mean there's there's like eleven other tow companies that I mean, they just call whoever can get there the fastest. So I don't know who's, at, I know there's a, there's several people that work the front desk um, and sometimes, but today has just been the day they're like, we, we gotta go check. And they're patrolling the lot over there. Anybody that doesn't have, because it, it's it's bad. They, I know. Yeah, I it's bad. I know it's, you know. I, I, if you got some keys, I'll bring it up here for you, yeah. man. Listen, I don't have a car. It's possible to sell. I, I, cash is the only way I can do it. I don't Let have. Let me check out what, how much you want to bring it. It's crazy. Yeah, it's a. It's I a... never have cash. <laughs> <laughs> but I love it. But... Yeah. All right, let me get you this receipt, my friend. Yeah. Be careful, guys. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Have fun. <laughs> Pay to park. <laughs> all right guys you heard it he uh he wanted me to explain to him why you know today was you know of all days this is my last this is the last day this is you know new year's is is over tomorrow why would they tell me today i parked there yesterday you know and i and i explained to him in the video guys so you get to hear it first and very important to pay to park on a day like today and before I forget, as promised, that guy, he was really mad. And uh, this is the text message that he had sent. That's the conversation. Um, you'll hear the, the, the phone conversations. This is, it went to text messaging after the phone conversation. But guys, I don't, just like I explained to him, I don't, it doesn't matter what license plate it is. You're, you're not supposed to be there. I don't care where in the world you're from. Um, I'm not mad at you because you're from a certain state. <laughs> uh, and, and, and I wanted to talk a little bit about that too. Uh, we did get, there was a couple of local tags in their overflow lot and you know, they they often park there and it says at your own risk and it says uh, country Inn and suites, but they'll park there. And uh, most of the time probably do get away with it because they don't call us mm -hmm. for their overflow lot a lot. But 
for the local that you'll probably catch on camera that will come and pick up their car, this is the one time a year that it's very important. Like Kristen said, probably 4th of July or a big event, local or not, you would think, you know, maybe this is the one time a year I probably shouldn't take advantage of this parking because it is so crazy and I might just get towed tonight. We'll see what these what these people say. But like I said, I, I told it doesn't matter if you're local or from wherever. Doesn't matter. Uh, but I thought I'd share that text message with you guys. Uh, and you didn't respond to him because you're not going to argue over a text. Yeah, I'm not. We're not going to have a text message war. That's not. You know, I, I, I just. I don't understand sometimes. Sometimes it's mind boggling. But, you know, a little different story over the phone and aggravated text message once I got there and explained. He ended up being a nice enough guy. So, anyway, stick around, stay tuned. Uh, still have one more pickup and that is that local so they probably won't call until after uh, until the new year because I'm sure they won't get off work until maybe after midnight so uh, that might not happen until tomorrow so I'm going to save a little SD card footage for that so we can bring that to you guys